guys, it's Joy. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm here. <laughs> so I, um, it's actually going really, really well. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep the first couple nights, um, or the first couple nights, the first night I didn't sleep. And, um, yeah, yeah. But this morning I juiced and I did all this. I've just, ugh, the people here are incredible. I mean, I could have the people here even if I was an RV though, so it's not really relevant. But one of my friends here actually, she's going through a lot and she may move in as well. Um, so it's going to be an interesting journey. And um, I, I decided, I, w I decided not to sleep in one of the rooms. Um, instead, I'm sleeping in the converted porch. It's the perfect size for me. It's super tiny. I was in the big room and I was like, I cannot sleep in this big of a room. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm really not using much of the house. So that's why renting out the rooms um, makes sense. I mean, I'm using, I have nothing in the living room and the dining room is exercise. And I'll give you guys a tour. I thought I'd tell you that Harley's doing really well. Um, he has been loving this place. He's been going crazy. He's running everywhere. He's he's up all night run. I mean, he is just, he's probably lost two pounds in the last two days because <laughs> he is. And honestly, I feel the same too, to a certain extent, just how much more I move around in this open space. And it's kind of interesting, you know, I, I think about a lot of just when I'm working or doing things, thinking about how I can translate this into living in an RV because I really love living in an RV and I, I love being that close to nature. That was really hard for me the first night. I felt like, you know, I normally have this really thin panel between me and the outdoors and, and um, here I have insulation and I have all of this. And so I, um, so yeah, I've been processing. It's actually been kind of fun to think about how I could do it differently to make it really work. And you know, the kitchen is a big thing. It's really the only thing I'm using that's different because now that I'm sleeping in a smaller bedroom, um, or it's not even a bedroom, it doesn't have a closet or anything. <laughs> um, it's more in line with how I've been living and how I choose to live. If you guys are interested, so I thought I would just, I would document my process and almost do a, a vlog, so to speak. I don't know. I think I could probably commit to it. Once I get the carrier for my phone, then I could definitely use my phone. In fact, I've been taking phone footage. I just have to work on learning how to edit it on my phone because as you saw that one, it was pretty kind of sketchy. This is what happens when you have more space. Somebody just tries to find it all. He's dusting. I call him my duster. Where are you going, boo? Harsies? What are you doing? So I don't need room, so I think I'm just gonna leave that shelf for him since he seems to like it. You know when you're in the right place because everything just comes to play. Look at all this abundance that I have. These persimmons, I have a lady down at the farmer's market who is now giving me deals. She filled this entire thing up with bananas for $3. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So grateful to you guys for your messages. They were just so sweet and wonderful and full of love. And I just so appreciate it. So anyway, I'll have some videos this week. Once things settle down a little bit, um, still working on getting a bed and <laughs> the basics. So I hope everyone's doing well. And <laughs> I feel like it's possible that my goofy self is potentially coming back. Potentially. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Because otherwise I'll just ram, 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 ram.